Welcome to my humble little office. Usually I work from a bike, but sometimes I work at a desk too. And today while I'm here, I'm gonna show you how to use Training Peaks. Come on, let's log in. First of all, we log in on the desktop version or an app version on the smartphone. I'm gonna show you on the desktop today so that we have a nice view of all the features. But the app is really cool when you're on the go. The screen that we land on is the calendar screen. Each block represents one workout. Let's take a look at the cycling interval set that I did two days ago. First thing I do is I name the workout, and then in the description section, I write all the details of the intervals I did. On this day, I did eight repetitions followed by fives and fives of short efforts. The reason I like to write the description of my workout is if I would like to replicate the workout someday later down the line, I'll have all of the information really easily accessible to me that I can extract from my workout file and write down on a piece of tape or program into my cycling computer so that I can do the workout again. While it's still fresh in my memory and my emotions, I record how I felt in the workout using the smiley faces and the perceived exertion that I felt with a sliding scale. There's also a diary section. There, I did a little diary entry in the post activity comment section. What I can also do now to help me find this workout in case I would like to refer to it later is add some tags. So there's already one that Training Peaks added automatically. It says cycling. If I press this plus button right here, I can also add other ones that I may come up with. I'm gonna add short intervals because this was a short snappy interval workout. Let's take a look at the bigger picture now by pressing analyze. When we press the analyze button, we can go in and see all of the data. This is my most favorite part. When you press the analyze button, this is where you really get a good view of the entire workout. There's a map of where I rode and then there's a graph. That blue line refers to where I was riding during the workout. And down here on the lower part of the screen, we can see the graph that shows all of the data that was collected by my GPS and by my power meter. The pink line shows the power that I pushed. The green line refers to the speed that I was riding at. The yellow line shows my cadence. That gray area in the background here shows the elevation. So you can tell when I was riding uphill, downhill, and kind of in a flatter section here. So in other words, it's showing the profile of the course that I rode on. Had I been wearing a heart rate monitor, you would see a red line that would correlate to the heart rate that I would have at any given moment during the workout. In the right hand corner, we have ways to analyze the data per lap. When I do an interval workout, I like to press the lap button before starting every single interval and when I'm finished the interval. That way my data is already kind of sorted out and organized when I'm ready to analyze it. You can use your cursor along the graph. You'll see that the mark will align with where you were on the map at any given point. When you were pushing those power numbers or turning your legs at that speed or riding at kilometers per hour or miles per hour, depending on which setting you chose, metric or imperial. I'm Canadian. So I use metric. Why is this stuff important? Well, I know you're an athlete like me and we both know that the human body and mind aren't always totally easy to understand or predict and that can be really frustrating sometimes. But a training diary helps solve this. In Training Peaks, you can record your objective and subjective data, which is the best way to understand those sneaky little links between amazing good days on the bike and the more difficult ones. With Training Peaks, I sort and analyze my data and I also use it as a super communication tool because my coach can see my files and comment on them at any moment, then tweak my plan if ever I need it. If you don't have a coach though, Training Peaks actually offers a really affordable service where they'll match you up with one of their experts, whether your goal is peaking for performance or maximizing your fun. Many are actually physiologists or former pro athletes. It's legit. Training Peaks offers a ton of stuff in their buffet, but you don't have to take all of it. It's only if you want to geek out. There might be some elements that you are more interested in than others. And if there are elements that are a little bit over your head or that you're just not interested in, don't worry about it. 